Hello dear students, welcome back. In the previous lecture I have discussed about the lens capsule and I have shown all the parts. Now we are discussing about the anterior epithelium of the lens. Welcome back friends. Let's discuss about the second important point about the lens that is the anterior epithelium. Why it is called anterior? Because it is present anteriorly, right? In the adult nucleus, right? The epithelium is all epithelial cells layer is only present in the anterior surface of the lens. As you can see here, the posterior surface curvature is little larger than the anterior surface. So you can see here the epithelial cells are only present in the anterior surface. In this diagram. You can see here in this diagram this is the interior surface and you can see here I have shown it in the interior surface but on that side there is no epithelium right so that's why it is called the anterior epithelium and this anterior epithelium mostly mostly it contains the cuboidal cells that's why we say that the anterior epithelium contains cuboidal cells right the next important point about it it is a single layer my dear friends the the epithelium of the lens is only a single layer right and uh, it is uh, uh, the about uh, how many how what is the number of these cells so it's about 5 lakh cells are there 5 lakh cells are present in the anterior epithelium of your lens and we say uh, the next important point about it is that it is divided into three zones right the epithelium is divided into three zones the first zone is the anterior zone or we say the central zone right the first zone is central zone right in the central zone you can see here all the cells uh, have cuboidal shape look this is the central zone so let me let me write these important points here these are uh, which type of cells the cuboidal cells right and they are non-dividing cells they don't do any mitosis once they are formed they remain there for whole life so we say okay whenever it is damaged then they show mitosis then they repair their cells so they are non-dividing cells cells right so here i show how many zones of anterior epithelium the central zone that is there okay and the central zone cells have polygonal shaped nuclei polygonal nuclei right then there is the intermediate zone right the second zone is a intermediate zone done so the intermediate zone you can see here here i have shown with red color and here you also can see the red color cells so the this is the central zone then there is the intermediate zone and then there are the lateral zone or the germinal zone right so the intermediate zone cells uh, are uh, having cylindrical uh, cell shape they have cylindrical cells right and they are also the non-dividing cells they also contain non-dividing cells right this is the intermediate zone and then there is the germinative zone the third zone germinative zone right so the germinative zone mostly contains you can see here columnar cells look these are the columnar cells and I have shown them here also. So mostly the germinative zone contains columnar cells, right? They are dividing cells. They always reproduce. So we say they are dividing cells. And for what purpose do they divide? Look carefully. They are always dividing and these cells are responsible to make all these 
lens fibers right how look carefully for example if uh, here we have an a cell which is a columnar cell right now what happens listen carefully what happens this cell elongates elongates and elongates and this cell makes a fiber like substance a thread like substance like this right and uh, at last its nucleus also vanishes from the cell now look carefully it has been converted into a thread like structure right so all these fibers that you can see present in the lens all these fibers are formed by these columnar cells so what did we say we say that the germinative layer contains columnar cells and they are always dividing for what purpose do they divide they are always dividing to make the lens fibers so you can see here the the embryonic nucleus then the fetal nucleus in the uh, infantile nucleus and then there is the adult nucleus and this is the cortex and uh, these cells are the columnar cells and they are always dividing and they are making the uh, lens fibers as i have shown here right so that uh, if someone asks the lens fiber is formed by what the lens fibers are formed by the germinative zone of the uh, in anterior epithelium of the uh, uh, lens right and we say that they form lens fibers right like this so this was about uh, the the anterior epithelium of the lens i hope you understand and i have shown him here and shown them here and the next important point about the anterior epithelium is that these cells are divided into two groups right the a cells and the e cells right so let me write here also this very important point that is groups how many groups do they have they have the a groups and the e group the a group is the non dividing group non dividing so it means that the central zone and the intermediate zone are the a group of cells and the e groups are the germinative cells and they are dividing cells right this was also important so this was about the interior epithelium and the next lecture we will discuss about the lens fibers right be with us